Hi everyone, this is Susan McGee and I'd like to welcome you to our desktop publishing course online. Um, the first thing that I want to say in this uh, brief introduction, try to keep it brief, um, is that right now is a really difficult time for all of us. Um, hopefully you are hunkered down somewhere where you feel comfortable and safe and not annoyed all the time. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, if I had to be locked down with my parents and my family when I was in college, oh my God, I would have like gone berserk. Um, so I hope that you guys are on, in, in good places and that you're safe and you don't have to go out very much. Um, but look, this is a really uncertain time and you could get sick or a family member could get sick. I could get sick. Um, my son, Chris, has asthma. He's 19. Um, he's home, thank God. But, you know, I'm really worried about him getting sick because he could really could really be bad for him so this is a really stressful time um you know and obviously you know some of us are going to know people who get very badly affected by this and possibly even pass away so i think we all we really need to be ready to support each other and to communicate with each other i am more than happy to help you whatever personal obstacles you may have um, from you know being at home right now or work wherever you are, uh, so please just communicate with me and I'll work with you. Um, you'll come to know that you can email me and you can expect to get a very pretty quick uh, pretty quick response. Um, so I'm um, I'm actually pretty known for that, um, and I, and I hope that you'll do the same so that we can really keep our communication channels open. So I just wanted to say that and also that, you know, I know um, many of us have anxiety and depression. Um, I have battled with um, those my whole life. Uh, and, you know, I'm really happy to be a support for you if you are, you know, in, in battling um, anxiety or depression or trying to overcome that in your life. I, I, I totally get it. Um, and I know that right now, with everything being so scary, it could even, you know, be worse. But, um, you know, so just be extra kind to yourself and, you know, take some deep breaths when you're not around other people. <laughs> and, um, you know, and reach out for help if you need it. Drexel has online counseling and a lot of resources right now. So, um, but please know that I'm your resource as well. Okay, so that's my uh, coronavirus update. Let me start my regular update. Ready? Hi, welcome to your desktop publishing course. I'm Susan McGee. I am your instructor. I'm very excited to be working with you. Um, I have been teaching this course for four years now um, in the Department of Communication. I am full-time instructor uh, on teaching faculty. Really like this course. It's actually really creative and fun. Um, you are going to work hard. Uh, and the one thing I do have to kind of warn you about is there's a lot of written direction that you're going to have to follow. And even if we were face to face, it would be the same thing. So um, there's a lot of detail work that goes in, in, into this course. So just make sure you read everything and review everything. And I think you'll probably be fine. Um, we don't have a textbook. I have a lot of, I've uploaded a lot of resources, readings, videos. You really do need to engage with these resources. They're really important. Uh, and I expect for you when you're doing assignments and, um, and when you're responding, when you're doing your initial designs and I'm asking you, you know, about the resources that helped you, you know, that you really are referring to those resources that you're naming them. You don't have to do like a formal bibliography or anything like that. But I just want to know that you really are utilizing and working with the resources for every assignment. So desktop publishing is um, kind of an old fashioned footy name for something that is actually quite modern now. Um, and in fact, I think I'm um, changing the title of this to modern desktop publishing. My original title that I wanted for the course was DIY designed for communicators. Um, communicators, uh, people who work in the comm field, whether it's um, you know employee relations, public relations, internal communications, external communications, content creation, uh, knowing how to knowing basic design principles is only going to help you. Okay. It's 
it's only going to help you when you're doing social media images or when you're making a flyer for something or anything that you're you're working on it's really going to help you be a much better designer and presenter so you'll see uh, so but desktop publishing really just means you you're doing it yourself um, you know back in um, we really started in the 80s but in the 90s as things started like printers got to got really good and a lot cheaper so we could have laser printers and then there was software that got a little easier to use like quark express was like a demon and then other kinds of programs started coming out that were a lot easier to use microsoft publisher was one although i know a few people who still use it i find it really um complicated but some people like it um so um and so suddenly people were able to just design um, things on their own and print them out and distribute them. And that was a really big time saver, cost saver. Now granted, a lot of the design might, well, it was not gonna be as good as when a designer did it. <laughs> but the advantage that we have now, are we have programs like Canva, which is what we're gonna use in this course, and even like, PowerPoint, you know, where we have templates where we can uh, that we can use. I mean, that's what really helps us. Um, so the design software is is much um, it's much easier to use now. You don't have to just use Adobe products like Photoshop or Illustrator. They're ter they're terrific products, but they're pretty complex. I haven't used Photoshop in a while, and when I went back in, I was like, oh, I was so like <laughs> I couldn't remember any of the shortcuts and. So they're complicated programs. I mean, they're wonderful programs. And if you have Adobe products, you should feel free to use those. Um, but you should also tinker around with Canva too. Like uh, some of my friends who are professional designers, they actually really like and use Canva because it's just a lot easier than, you know, kind of cranking out something in Illustrator. So, um, so but you should feel free to use that. Canva is a free cloud-based program. Um, it will drive you crazy at times, but it's actually pretty cool. A lot of the stuff that you can do uh, and for free. So in this course, you are going to learn really helpful basic design principles. We start with crap, uh, which of course, you know, I, I just love that it's crap, but it's, uh, those are like our four design principles that we start with. Um, and, um, and then, you know, I, and then I want you to be applying what you're learning. Um, so in week one, you're going to learn about the crap principles and then you're going to go out and you're going to find examples of them. And then you're going to post those to the discussion board. So um, we will be working on um, a business card first. This is like for your personal brand. So you might even have a business card already, but this one is really for you and your brand and what you want it to be. Um, so first, we're going to think about some personal branding um, sort of concepts and sort of approach that while you're learning the concepts. And then once we cover um, the basic crap, uh, you're probably like, what does she keep saying crap for? But you'll see. Uh, it's contrast, repetition, alignment, and proximity. Those are the four basic principles. Um, and then typography, which is like, could be an entire course in and of itself. Uh, and then color, then you'll be ready to actually, you know, start, start your business card. The next, um, after that will be um, a poster for play. Then we do um, two versions of an event flyer. And then we're going to do a postcard for um, an advertisement postcard for a dog food company and a brochure for a dog food company. So those are our projects. Uh, so your main project grade will be derived from the, your projects, uh, but you also really have to do your assignments. You have to, you cannot get an A just on turning in great projects. Okay, it's, I, you have to go through a process and that process involves assignments and where I'm asking you to post different versions. Again, there are a lot of moving parts here. So I need for you to really kind of really read, really watch these videos that I post because they really will help you. A lot of detail in this kind of work, uh, but it's really worth it. And some of you are gonna be shocked at what you're able to create. And some of you are gonna find out you're like actually really good at this. And you might wanna go off and go to Westfall and take some design courses after this. So. Um, I'm always excited when that happens. Uh, so, um, so that's really the basics of the course. And um, I will come back with another um, video explaining to you how we use discussion boards and 
how I evaluate your designs in this course. But, um, oh, and the other thing I did want to say, um, this course was scheduled to be completely an online course. We have no expectation of synchronous meetings. Uh, however, because so many people are um, in lockdown now and at home, um, there might be an opportunity where, you know, we can find a time where we can, all could get online and have a synchronous meeting. So I will try for that. It's not going to be, it would not be mandatory at all. Um, the other thing is I probably really will be scheduling um, some private Zoom meetings with a lot of you to go over, you know, your designs where we can share the screen. Um, you're going to get a lot of feedback on your designs in this course. And, um, you know, that's one way um, that we can do it. Um, you'll discover I've got lots of other ways too. So uh, I definitely can see us scheduling some like Zoom conferences one-on-one -on -one, uh, when you need some help. Uh, so feel free to reach out. You should feel free to call me too. Um, if you can always just text me first, make sure I'm available. Because um, I don't always answer if I don't recognize the number because I get so many spam calls. It's so annoying. Anyway. Okay, so um, yes, so you can work a little bit ahead, but you have to be really careful that um, you don't work too far ahead, that you don't know what you're, you know, don't want to get, um, you don't want to start a project and not be doing it correctly. So just be careful. The other thing is um, when we do peer review, you can't do that early. I mean, we obviously have to do peer review when we're doing it. Okay, so I'm really excited to work with you guys. I think you're really going to enjoy the class, and I think you're really going to be impressed with what you create. And reach out with questions, and stay tuned for our next video.